Hello everybody. Today I'm going to be testing Bitdefender Internet Security 2011. I had a few requests for this. Um, I have 10 malware links I'm going to test. I didn't have too much time to collect them. And I don't have too much time to do this review, so I'm going to get started right away. Bitdefender installs with an installer. Um, so it's going to run this in the download the program. Um, you need an internet connection for this, obviously. And it looks like it's going to take 11 minutes. So while we wait for that, I am going to pause the video. And I'll be right back when it's done. All right, that took a really long time. But um, we're going to go ahead here. And we're going to do next. So uh, the progress here is moving along. Um, it's scanning my system. Going to cancel that. Don't need to scan my system right now. Uh, turn off the firewall windows defender as a matter on this one. Um, Going to evaluate it for 30 days. It's probably communicating with the server. Uh, registration. Uh, I don't know if I have an account. Let me figure this out. All right. I am just, I'm going to hit custom setup just to see. Um, and that's fine. Let's see. Expert view. I want expert view. I'll take a look at the other views too later. Uh, this is the configure settings. Antivirus I want on. Um, I'm going to leave this on. Parental control off. I'm going to leave this on. And... That's fine. Laptop mode will cut the resources when it's running on a laptop and it's on battery, but um, fine without that because this is not a laptop. Uh, it looks good, and I don't care about Bitdefender news. Help and support. That's fine. Uh, we'll just see what it says. And that looks good. I don't need to schedule a scan for any specific time because I won't be uh, using this in the long term. All right. So it looks like it kind of uh, installed in the background where you're uh, checking the options. Um, and it's just updating the software right now for those settings, which is fine. One comment I have is that uh, I feel like if um, the software manufacturers want to have a downloader that downloads the program, then maybe they could download an updated version of the program um, so you don't have to wait forever for it to update the program once you finish installing it. Um, it would be nice. But I guess I'll live with that. Um, let me see if I can open up the interface. Uh, it's just telling me about what it's downloading. Um, I feel like it already downloaded a lot, so this is ticking me off a little bit because it took quite a long time already. I'll be right back when this is done. Okay, that took almost as long as it took to download the entire program. But uh, it automatically started scanning the machine. I'm going to stop this. Um, I'm just going to say it's a local area connection. Fine there. Um, yes. Don't want to run a scan. Finish. Um, I didn't have a great experience. But it wasn't too bad. All right, let's see. I am not going to take a guided tour. I'm just going to go right to the dashboard, and we're going to take a look at what's going on here. So it tells me when it's expiring. That's fine. This is expert mode, so it lays everything out for me on the side here so I can see what's going on. If I click settings, it's not going there. There we go. Um... I'm not going to change any of that. Let's see. 
Um, I'm going to leave it on default right now. I don't have a need to make it aggressive. Anti-spam, I'm not going to worry about firewall here. Um, allow known programs is what I'm going to do. Vulnerability, it's telling me what I am missing on this machine that makes me insecure. That's fine. Um, don't need to worry about any of that. I'm just going to take a look at advanced settings here. Um, because I want to enable this and, um, it'll prevent malware drivers from installing. Um, medium. I might do, um, that's going to generate a nutty amount of alerts. Um, but it's also going to be more secure. I'm going to do medium. I'm going to see what that's like. Because if you're... I mean, ultimately, if you were just a normal user, you wouldn't even be turning that on. You wouldn't even be looking through the settings. Um, it would be one of those mystery things. So... Let's punch in the first of the 10 links here. And it's telling me it's blocked multiple viruses. That's fine by me. That's what I want to see. So we've got one of 10. It's blocking another one. We've got two of 10. Oopsie. And it's telling me it's got another one. Three of ten. That's not it's not too bad right now. That's not this one. Alright, we'll run this one. And it seems to be running. I don't see any pop-ups, any alerts. This one. It's going to download and run. It's telling me no issues, no issues are affecting the computer. So it's definitely not picking up on anything. Um, not seeing anything that I think is bad, but okay. So it's blocked. Um, it's blocked multiple viruses that are. So that thing was trying to spread, and it blocked what it was trying to spread, um, which isn't too bad. Um, ultimately, I missed the main idea, but. Um, Oh, copy and paste on XP is not my favorite. I've had trouble with it. So this is a uh, fake AV. It looks like Bitdefender is blocking that one too. And uh, it's blocking multiple viruses, it says. It says it deleted the file. run this one and uh, it definitely loaded up there and I'm not seeing any alerts oh we get one alert and this is a file it tried to copy so that was another fake antivirus and this is probably the fake um, antivirus that it's trying to set up so I missed the original file but that file might be a downloader, so it tried to seed something. And uh, Bitdefender blocked that one, which is great. Uh, 
Now this is the last one I have. I do want to see if I can get the IDS to give me an alert. So it says it detected nine infected files. All right, advanced settings. I'm gonna put this to critical. And um, now I'm going to just see if I can quickly turn this off. I'm going to disable real-time protection for five minutes. Okay. And now if I just go ahead, let's say I download this last one here. It's still blocking, um, it's, it might be the browser plugin or something, but, um, it still says it's blocking the, it still says it's blocking, um, in the browser, even though I've turned this off, um, It's still blocking it in the browser, and I'm wondering if it adds something to the um, to the host file once it blocks something, so that it can't go there again or something. I don't know, but I'm gonna enable that real-time protection, and I'm just going to see um, now that I have critical selected. I'm going to just try and download this one, which kind of got through in the beginning. I'm going to run that one. Um, so it blocks it now. This is another. It's being used. Um, I believe this was another one that got through. All right, so this is the intrusion detection, the IDS, and it's now saying it's blocked a potential, potentially malicious or infected application. And um, I'm going to remember this action for the application, and I'm going to click OK. Um, I kind of, I kind of like it if um, alerts make the allow button smaller than the OK button because it would be just easy for me to by mistake just kind of come over here hit allow because you're used to alerts on your Windows computer that uh, pop up and they say uh, do you want to continue and you hit OK so do you want to allow Bitdefender to do this so if you're not really paying attention you're just clicking around um, you could hit the wrong button if you're not being careful but um if you read the alert, hopefully you won't make that mistake. But that's just me being nitpicky, because I know I've made that mistake before by hitting the wrong button. All right. So now that I've done that, I just want to see how many resources Bitdefender is using. Um, I've got this one, which is using hardly anything. I believe this is Bitdefender here. Um, I don't really see much running. This, I think, is Bitdefender. This, I think, is Bitdefender 2. Uh, for, an anti, for an antivirus or even internet security, it actually looks fairly light from what I'm seeing, um, unless I'm missing something, which is, which is quite nice. I like the interface, too. It's a nice color. Um, let me see if I change the settings, or the maybe it's under options. Um, I 
basic view. Let me see. This is this is what most people would get. Um, and it looks pretty simple. You can search help and support for those who get confused easily. Um, you can easily run a scan. You can update it very easily. And you have tools, more options. And then you can look at settings and stuff. Um, it's not loading. It's taking a while to load. Um, and it'll tell you security status. So it's fairly simple. It's fairly easy to use. Um, ultimately, I don't. I wouldn't trust this as much without the IDS on. And if you're going to use the IDS, I would definitely put it up to full um, critical because that seems to be what it takes to prevent the malware using the IDS. And it seemed to do a good job from the one file I tested. Um, the signatures and the heuristics on this program seem average to me. Um, they block some files, they miss some others. Um, I always like it when a program has some kind of proactive protection that doesn't rely on signatures or heuristics that'll evaluate the behavior of the file. And that's what the IDS does. Um, It'll check to make sure a file is not behaving badly. I just want to see what happens if I go and download CCleaner. I want to see if it'll give me any alerts on a well-known program with the IDS on high, on critical. The previous version of Bitdefender, when you turned on their proactive protection, it would give you alerts on everything. It would give you alerts on Internet Explorer, it would give you alerts on um, all sorts of stuff. Uh, so it's nice that it seems to be selective now, and it seems to be much more refined to um, watch for known applications and unknown applications and then rate them differently. Um, so it seems it seems to me that Bitdefender is definitely improving. It's fairly easy to use. Um, but I'm not sure it's my preference unless you are going to actually go in and change the settings. And I don't consider the firewall on this as strong as I would like. Um, I like to see other features in the firewall. Um, I I mean, I used to use Bitdefender on my computer, and I was never pleased with the firewall. But that was just me. And um, I think the antivirus version also has the IDS, and you could also choose your own firewall if you did like Bitdefender, which would probably be my choice, and use something like Online Armor Komodo, which are very, very strong applications. And uh, if you know what you're doing, it all comes down to whether you know what you're doing or not. But um, those are definitely recommended along with any program that doesn't have a firewall. So make sure you have a strong firewall. All right. Thanks for watching, everybody. Um, I will probably be reviewing Norton Internet Security 2011 next because I've also had a lot of requests for that. And um, that would be all. Bye-bye.